Hey everybody, welcome back to the Jimmy Two Tech channel. Today we are out in the new trailer. We're gonna do um, a big upgrade to this thing, which if you're getting one of these, this is something you guys should do. We're gonna put a, well actually it's not epoxy. We're, it's kind of like an epoxy. It's that polycuramine by uh, Rust-Oleum and uh, Rock Solid. So we're gonna put that kind of floor in here just to make this last longer. Uh, but first we got a few things we gotta do to prep for that. We have to, of course, sweep it out, vacuum it, blow it out. And on the floor, you'll see we got some paint here. There's paint down here from uh, when they did the, the, the trailer all together. So we got to get those sanded down so they're not visible through our floor. We don't want that. And uh, then we can go on from after doing the floor to the next few things. We've already done a couple things actually in here to upgrade. If you come over here, if you look right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we put pieces of rubber above each one of these. Uh, the bug even likes it. We put pieces of rubber above each one of these because they, they attach these or this cardboard to the frame with screws and the screw heads point up towards your ceiling and when it vibrates it's just going to wear a hole in the ceiling. So we put rubber, rubber square rubber above each one of these screw heads all the way down through. So we did that. That's the first thing we did. Oh, and we did some new seals on the door. If you guys can see them. Right here we got bulb seals, new ones. The ones they had on there were like a foam. It did not seal, so if you could see the wood here, see the line? The first day it rained, it leaked down past the seal on this side. So we tore up the old seal, put in a nice new seal that's a little bit thicker, and that works great. So those are the first two we've done. So uh, with all that being said, let's get the floor of this cleaned out and sand it up so we can get that floor and put down on it. Let's go. Took quite a while to do the prep work. We got the floor sanded down where it was the dark spots with the paint. We tightened all the screws that were sticking up. And as you can see, we got that line everywhere, or excuse me, the tape line. We're gonna go up the wall six inches just to uh, protect the wall too from any splashes or kicks. So that part's done. We taped off the tie downs. And we took the track for where the step up is so we don't have to tape around it. And now we're ready to uh, painting in the the walls and then we'll pulling it in so all right guys this is what we're using on our floor it is the uh rock solid by rust-oleum it's the uh what is it polycuramine floor coating this is the 2.5 car kit i just didn't want to run short and wishing i got more so it comes with, with two pouches two foam rollers it comes with the blue flake for uh let me show you those the blue flake to sprinkle on the floor we just bought extra one and we put it here, you guys see that? So we bought extra bag, put it in here so we can easily throw it up in the air because you're supposed to just, you know, one of those numbers. The stuff comes in a pouch like this. You have part A and part B. You're supposed to shake each pouch before you burst it. 
squeeze the corners, make sure all the stuff's out of the corners. Then you roll part A into part B and shake it for two or three minutes. That mixes it up. Uh, in the directions, it will say you can pour this directly on the floor and then start rolling it that way. We bought this little tote here that we're gonna pour it in. Perfect size for our roller. Plus we can get to it with the brushes because we're gonna paint up the wall six inches and we wanna be able to just get it out of here and put it on. So that's what we're gonna do with that. And we also bought the anti-skid uh, stuff you can put in here so it doesn't get slippery when it's wet. We have that also. We will mix that in when we do it. And uh, that'll be that. So with that being said, let's get this shaken up and stirred and then uh, we'll pour it in here. All right, we're just mixing up. Before we burst the pouches, like I said, we're, we're checking these corners, like I said to do, make sure everything's out of the corner, rolling that, then we'll get them all uh, shaken for shaking for 30 minutes or so. Then we'll roll it together and shake it for another three minutes. But we're just gonna try to get those mixed. We just wanna make sure it's done right. If you guys are doing the anti-skid, here's the stuff. If you guys are doing that, it'd be probably better to mix this in a bucket. We're gonna just do it in our, uh, in our thing over here. We're just gonna mix it in here. We're just gonna do the mixing all in there with the anti-skid, we'll just use the brush. Probably all we need. I might leave some in the pouch set up. No, I'll pour it all in there because I got to mix the anti-skid, so I'll pour it all in there. In the temperature we got here, we got about 45 minute pot life with this. So we got 45 minutes to use this bag um, to get what we can cover with this. And then we got the other bag um, to finish the rest. So 45 minutes with this should be, should be more than enough time. The, the longer part is painting the wall, but I think uh, if we can get one of us to paint the wall halfway and then one to start rolling, I think it will go faster. All right, I think I did that for two minutes. Now what it says to do is take part A and to roll this into part B. So we're gonna take it and just roll it. You'll see it burst here. There it goes, they just mixed. Now we gotta take that and shake that for two to three minutes. Now the act, the reaction started, so we got it. Now the, the clock starts. All right, we've mixed this for three minutes. Now we're just gonna cut the corner off. And we are gonna pour it in here. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna leave a tad in here because I don't want to overfill the uh, the thing here. Then we're gonna, I'm gonna pour some of this this anti skid in here. You're supposed to mix it in with it. I don't have a bucket, so this is the mixing I'm doing. I'm sure there's better ways of doing it. I know, in a bucket with a mixer or something, but this will work for what we're trying to do. All right, guys, we're still going here. We got that front corner. You can see it, we sprinkled the stuff on there. You just throw them up in the air and let them land where they may. Uh, one thing about doing wood as compared to like a cement floor, the wood's gonna really drink this stuff up. So you're gonna have to take a, take a little bit more time and like go over it a few times, let it drink as much as it's going to, or as much as you can get away with because you, you got that 45 minute pot life. So you wanna try to keep an eye on that, on your clock but also getting good coverage on there. That corner right there, we went over that like three times. It looks decent, so I'm, I'm happy with it. It'll work for now. Plus we got the ceiling layer I'm gonna put on later. That'll also add another layer of protection. But for now, this will do the trick. So we're gonna continue along till we get to the back there. Cause you're really not supposed to work with this stuff in the sun and our, unfortunately our back door's in the sun. So we'll put a, put a cover over that or try to get that quick and then close the door up a little. But we're moseying along here. Well, there you have it guys. We have got this done. 
you can see here, the best we're gonna get, we still gotta peel the tape off. We went six inches up the wall. We weren't trying to get any flake on it, but it, some went up there, which is okay. Looks really nice. Uh, let me get the back door down so you can get more light. You can see on that, that's done. It looks really nice. Actually, you guys got a glare. Let me walk you guys back there. There you go. This turned out great as well. I know this stuff ain't supposed to be in direct sunlight, so that's why we have the door up. It's still drying. It says eight to 10 hours to walk on, 24 hours to drive on. Depends on your humidity and all that. So I'd let it go longer. Probably two days would be better. And then, well, you guys can't see in there, but it looks pretty good. So job well done, pretty pleased with that. Okay, here we are a day later. Everything in here we put down where the flooring is dry. Now we gotta, we're got we putting on a clear coat on top of this. Uh, one of the first things you gotta do when you do that is get a scraper, a 10 inch scraper. I think ours is like, it might be a 10 inch, I don't know. But we gotta, you gotta scrape, you gotta scrape it like this. And then you gotta scrape it this, this way, like whoop, this way. Scrape it two different directions, like this way and then this way to get all the loose chips up. And then you blow it all out. That that just gets the edges off the chips. So when you put down the clear coat, it's a smoother finish. And we have the anti-skid for the clear coat. So that should make it really nice. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna scrape this floor down, get all these edges down, blow it out and get ready for that clear coat. But you can see the kind of the shine on it. But it should be all shiny when we're done with the clear because there's still spots where the wood sucked it up. But for the most part, it's looking really good. So let's get started. All right, guys, we are almost done with this trailer here on the clear coat. You can see probably the shininess. We're working our way back to the ramp. Um, the same thing as the coating. You just, you know, mix the two parts after you shake it for three minutes. We added the anti-skid in there and stirred it up. Now we're just rolling it out, doing a nice coat on top. The two car kit for this only includes one bag because you're just putting it on top. It's not going to drink it or anything. So it's going to turn out pretty nice. It looks pretty good so far. So. We'll keep going and finish this up. Well, there you have it, guys. Like we showed you, it looks really good in there. It's definitely an upgrade to this new trailer. It's gonna preserve that floor longer, keep the, the grease and oil and stuff from staining the floor. It's a beautiful thing. A couple caveats to this job, though, I have to put out there. Uh, we bought originally a two and a half car kit, or two and a half car garage kit, which we thought would do this one car trailer, technically. No, this, is, this took like a three and a half car kit if you, because we had to go buy another kit. This one is a wood floor, so it did suck up a lot of the, uh, the material, and it took more than we thought it was gonna take. We thought two and a half car, that's gonna be more than enough. It was not. We ended up running back, getting another kit to put down on this floor. And again, they don't include enough paint chips either, unless you want a really, really sparse, then there's enough. So we ended up buying another uh, one or two packages of that or something. Um, and then once this dries, we're gonna put a clear on top of that. So we know everything's sealed and we'll put an anti-skid into that. So it'll be a perfect job. Um, also with the sidewalls, we used a little bit of the material, but not much. We went six inches up the wall and it was, it used a little bit of material, but I don't think enough to, you know, it didn't use nowhere near what we needed for finishing this out. Uh, we took almost one whole half a kit just to do that back door in it. We put like five coats on that before it stopped sucking it in so much. And the flap is done too that you see. We didn't do the back of the flap, only the front. So the next step on this is pretty much to start the up next upgrades. We plan in a bunch of stuff. We're gonna put LED lights inside, around the inside. We're gonna install a new battery, fuse panel inside kind of for all the 12 volt stuff. We're gonna change these lights out on the top here. You probably can see them. They're kind of tiny. Those. We also got rims that they sent us. So they match the trailer silver rims. These black ones here, don't quite match what we're trying to go for. But if you guys guys got any questions about doing this kit in your garage or in a trailer, uh, more so for the trailer for us, but uh, leave, us a, leave a comment down below, we'll get to them. It is, like people show you in the videos, if you're watching other ones learn how to do this, it's gonna, you're gonna need more than you want. Otherwise it's gonna turn out bad and you're gonna be like, you're gonna be upset with it. I was, I was frustrated with it at first until I went and got the other kit and, and put another coat down to it. 
seal the floor better. Otherwise, the floor is showing up through. It looked terrible. All right, guys, I hope you found that beneficial. Uh, if, if you did, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button so it helps the channel and uh, lets YouTube know that we're doing stuff that helps you guys out. Don't forget to hit that like button. That helps us out also with some algorithm and stuff. That's great stuff. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so you know when the next time we post a video. It'll probably be a video on this trailer, which is a pretty awesome project. So with that being said, guys, do a little bit of everything.